And if you're into getting scared out of your gourd, well, this is your time of year. Yeah, people love this, but how are the haunted haunts managing the scare <laughs> while staying COVID safe? John Shumway has a look behind the curtain. And John, you know, we know last year so many of these were canceled, if not all of them. Right. So this is kind of their first go at it in the era of COVID. They're happy to be back and they've put creativity to work, right. not yeah. only in the scaring, but also in keeping people safe. I mean, for that matter, what good would it do to go to a haunted house without leaving with an elevated heart rate? The victims come for the scare, but COVID is rewriting the script. <laughs> It's got us a lot because we're a very touchy feely haunt. We want them to do things with the characters. So that's had to change a lot. At Castle Blood in Manesson, Ricky Dick says, oh, the scares are still there. They call them Scooby-Doo scares. So our scares are like there's a guy behind the picture in the wall. It's forced the actors at Hundred Acre Manor to become even better actors. Scare from a safe distance. That's for their safety, for patron safety. Uh, so on that accord, it's no major change for our actors. Um, because we never let our actors get close to people, regardless. The same is true at Kennywood. Actors do try to stay an arm's length away, um, just for, for safety purposes, both for themselves and for um, the guests. Um, and that recommendation remains in place. And with our, our one indoor haunt, we only have one indoor haunt this year, um, you know, it, it's more of a rule. All of the haunts have scaled back elements that forced scare victims and actors to be too close. It's not like a a person in a Jason mask sitting there nose to nose screaming at you for three minutes like like the old days, you know? Oh uh, yeah, the good old days. Now, most <laughs> of the places already had a policy of not touching the scaries. Now they don't even get that close. And most of the haunts, by the way, have also established times when you can come and have fun and not worry about the scares. The lights are up, it's well lit. You can just bring the family and, and a lot of parents are bringing the little kids just to be in that environment. Yeah. It's a lot of fun, especially if they come in costume. Definitely. Yeah. And if there is a good turnout, how are you supposed to avoid being in a crowd that may be vaccinated or not vaccinated? Sure. If you want to be socially distanced, they tell you to come on Friday night or Sunday. That's your best bet because Saturdays are obviously very, very popular. Definitely. And well, wear a mask. Check it out. Yes, wear a mask. All right, John, thank you so much.